Hi, sis. This is your quick and general reading. How are you doing? I hope you're well. We are going to do a five card reading, um, four cards from the tarot, and then the um, last card is an oracle card, and that would be, uh, you know, receiving messages from spirit. So let's see what your third and fourth part are. I'm going to pick them all and um, see if, okay, no? Yeah. So, hi, sis. I'd like to welcome you to my channel. My name is Shamla Tan, and I am an intuitive coach as well as a psychic. And so, uh, what I will deliver in the messages will be both spiritual as well as energetic, right? Tuning into general collective of Pisces energy. So glad to have you here with me. Wow. Okay. Um, I feel like we need to take one more from message from spirit. So we're going to put it here. So let's see. I'm going to use this deck as clarifier. Um, the first card is what's showing up in your pres present reality. So uh, Pisces is just a reminder to you that this is a quick and general reading, right? So it not all messages are going to resonate. And if you feel caught to, caught to and you want a more uh, personalized reading, you can always book a private session with me. If not, um, take what resonates and drop the rest, okay? So what's showing up in your present reality? And we have the Five of Pentacles here. Five of Pentacles here is you're feeling a little bit isolated. Um, to me, it feels like this is in a workspace. And the current situation seems to be may maybe you're working on a project alone. Maybe you're not getting the help that you need um, for some of you, right? This is in the workspace. For others of you, I feel like you are generally... Uh, feeling a little bit isolated in your life right now for whatever reason, uh, not that people have intentionally left you, maybe the situation or circumstances in life is such that you are more in your, you know, you're more alone, you're, you're you know, more isolated, okay? So let's get some clarifiers and see what's going on here for you in your present reality, Pisces. Let me have a clarifier, clearest messages here for Pisces, please. Okay, we have two parts here. And we have three of pentacles. And then we have ace of pentacles. Okay, so um, <clears throat> five of pentacles, not, I mean, the, the energetically is not as positive. But then we have the three of pentacles and then we have the ace of pentacles which brings in very good news. Um, this is saying that the sense of isolation that you're experiencing is not going to last long, right? You're going to have new opportunities. You're going to have new people coming in to assist you and definitely um, <clears throat> people coming in. Uh, you have a new team coming in. So you're not that isolated, not for long. This is an almost like an incoming energy that's going to change the whole dynamics of how you've been feeling. And these are very, very positive energies, you know, like a team coming in, there's collaboration, you're learning more, you're setting goals, you're pushing through, and that there are new things, a lot of new opportunities, new resources, a new sense of stability, and maybe it's a promotion for some of you, or uh, others of you could be like starting a new business even, all right? Quite interesting, uh, quite a dramatic change, I would say, you know, in the energies from here a sense of isolation and feeling a little bit, um, maybe to, <laughs> some of you, you know, you come to a point where you're losing a little bit of hope and then things turn around for you. So whatever you have been doing, I would say to keep on doing it, you know, put in the homework, chip, chip in, you know, ch keep chipping in and you will see the results. All right. And it, it feels very good here. Okay, what's showing up in your present reality. Now, I feel this, this message is very important for those especially looking for some clarity or looking for some guidance. And this may be the reading for you. Okay, you're looking for a specific guidance. 
Now, what's stuck in your past influencing um, your present? I feel like you may be stuck to, uh, we have a three of cups, right? And I feel like you may be stuck with certain type of friendship or maybe in your mind, you're thinking that the people that you want to be with has to be a certain type uh, or maybe you, you're very familiar with a certain type that if people are different from what you're familiar with, it may pose as a challenge for you. So you may be stuck in a past about your ideas, you know, about the kind of team that you want to work with or the kind of friends that you want to have. I would say to be much more open um, to the kind of people that come into your life and not to limit yourself to what you, um, you know, you're stuck in in the past. Okay, so uh, what is going to happen here is there's going to be a big change. So I feel like this, this card has already shown us this, that you have a new team coming in, new group of people coming in, and it's going to be a very fast movement. There's going to be a change and it almost feels immediate. It almost feels like there is a sense of excitement. Um, so for some of you, I feel like you're entering an entirely new environment in your workspace, maybe new job and and so it's exciting. Some of you moving countries. So um, for those of you moving moving countries, right, this feels very, very apt for you because, um, you know, you're leaving, leaving people behind, leaving friends behind. And when you enter into a new space, you do need to make new friends, right, and not allow the past to influence your present. Okay. Very interesting reading so far, Pisces. So looking at the third card, this is your subconscious right? What is your subconscious saying? Your subconscious is unsure. There is a sense of uncertainty. You're not sure about what the future holds. It's almost as if you are questioning it. You are asking, is this real or is this an illusion? Am I, you know, on the right track or is this just too good to be true? You know, that kind of um, uh, feelings coming up for you, okay? Feeling, yeah, definitely feeling like, Okay, I'm not sure whether this is an opportunity or this is an illusion. Let's get some clarifiers. Can we have some? Whoa, that one just <laughs> flew up. Um, okay, we need one more just to get a better sense of things. What uh, the temperance card, this is temperance card. What temperance is telling you that it is very necessary for you to keep calm, to keep your cool, right? And to currently observe and not to go into a mind spin. Um, but to really keep calm and and just observe because whether it's an illusion or opportunity, it will it will get clearer, right? It will get clearer. But this card, you know, we have seven of pentacles here, is telling you that there is a need for you to look at um, opportunities that come your way as a long-term investment in which you must practice a lot of patience. Uh, you put in the work, right? There's planning, there is, you know, uh, it's, it's long-term. It's for the long haul. So I feel that whatever comes up in your life, right, and you're questioning, is this an opportunity or is it an illusion? The best way to make a judgment is to ask yourself, is this a quick fix promising fast results or is this something that I know that I have to work hard at it to, you know, I have to chip in day by day, year by year in order to see the results. The right track would be something that is not so quick fix. The quick fix is the illusion. The reality and a very good opportunity would be something that gives you, that gives you where you have to exercise perseverance, where you see that it is a long-term investment where you have to practice patience and then you will harvest the results. And this is asking you to keep that balance. Okay, so you can apply this to um, your private life or your career life, right? I, both areas of your life are completely appropriate. Okay, so take it, take it how it resonates for you. All right, now let's look at the fourth card. Your current actions, Current actions, you're in a little bit of a hangman, understandably, because of this energy as well. The seven of cups, right? Hangman means like, you know, there's a pause and you're 
maybe seeing the world or changing your perspective, hanging upside down, seeing the world differently. And that's fine. And that's quite healthy. Okay. Now, I want to see, uh, can we have some clarifiers for Pisces? Why is the hangman here? For current action. Uh, for some of you, I feel like you're a little bit paralyzed. You're not sure of the direction you want to go. I hope this position here and what I explained to you uh, gives you some direction. Okay. Now, okay. We have the death card, which is good. Death is about transformation. So you are ending something. You're going through a transition. So this is good. So this means that, <clears throat> you know, hangman getting a different perspective, then you're letting things that no longer serve you die. You know, just, just, just letting it go, ending it. There's going to be, I feel like there's going to be a big change um, actually, your message is so far pretty consistent. Here we say dramatic change, big change, big movement. And here the death card, it seems to be emphasizing this particular message. It seems to be um, clarifying this for us. It seems to be confirming the message that there is a big change, right? Uh, that there is a need to leave the all behind and start new. And it's you know, it looks like a pretty exciting site, exciting start, right? Starting new is pretty exciting. The path ahead seems really, really positive for you, okay? So let's see what the messages from Spirit are. You have two cards. Usually I just pick one, but time to go. So the death card, right? Time to go. So there are certain things you need to let go of. Now, some of you, is, is not a job situation. Some of you, is not relationship situation. Some of you, it could be a mindset thing that you need to let go. You need to let go of maybe victim consciousness. Maybe you need to let go of a certain way of being or certain bad habits and addictions. It's time to go. It's time to let it die, right? So time to go. Let's see what the building blocks. Very nice. This goes hand in hand. So when you leave something behind, you need to build something new. And this is exactly what the card is, right? It's the death card is about death and rebirth. So when you die, when something dies, right? Or you let something die, it has to rebuild. Something new has to be built. That's part of life. That's how life works. And so how appropriate that you got time to go and then you have building blocks. Wow, Pisces, this sounds really exciting. You're entering this, you know, interesting phase of your learning and development so I wish you well, and I look forward to doing your next reading. Just bear in mind that whenever you're watching this, is the right time because this is a timeless reading. So I hope it gives you the uh, you know, guidance you're looking for, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.